everybody, and welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is the Battle Arena, the updated version. This one has a lot of variety in terms of units. You can do this with clones, you can do this with stormtroopers, or with this red versus blue classic. The original Battle Arena was very, very popular just purely because it, of course, dealt with creating a balanced... Um, environment for multiplayer mayhem small scale force infantry based reminding of more so halo and call of duty than things like quake where you jump around all over the place but there is you know classic cover barrels crates pipes very industrial See, it also mimics the Halo thing where everybody has shields. Doesn't seem you can act, capture that. The only capturable probably um, point is the middle, which is interesting. Always keeps it competitive. Yep. Of course, the thing with having shields means that you can actually stay alive for a long time because I haven't died yet. <laughs> We've captured this now, so that's great. Oh, that's a good grenade. Nope. That's a, that's a good one. Very, very well playable with AI, as you can see. Small scale, which means that even though it's not Excel, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of action going on. I do require some help now, though. Ha! Oh. <laughs> da! Who? The thing with um, having only one point to capture also means that uh, no one side will be dominated all that much. So what I mean is you can have uh, other bigger maps where you have, let's say, four or five points you can capture. If one team has you know, captured four points or three, it's a significant advantage compared to only having this one in the center. It's always a they're always able to take it back easily because all the action is focused on that one point. And there's definitely room for strategy here because um, you know you can defend it well or you can attack it well but also defend it very well. A lot of cover if you just set up units here. You can see they came with like five guys. Pretty big offensive. They were pretty able to uh, hold them off. And they can flank us, of course. And here you see that we are pushing them back, actually. Very, very interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, now they're now they are putting the pressure on. I see more red than blue. Come on. Okay, that was my first death. Let's see if we can get another rocket launcher. No. Shotgun, yeah, let's do it. Alright, I like it. Oh, that guy's gonna die. Of course, very well do playable in first person. Get that Halo feeling. Jesus. Kickback on this baby. That was quick. 
carbine heavy repeater. Why not? Oh, stuck. Alright guys, pushing back. somebody in my own team but that's pretty pretty good oh this is a good grenade matches do tend to last a little long though for my taste with only having one at a time I wouldn't mind if we had less I think the original arena also had things outside, I could be wrong. Not as an outside environment, but just uh, had a passageway under the seats, the audience seats. Do one more spawn, then I'll call the uh, quits, though, because I think you guys do get the point. Oh, let's immediately spawn there, though. Command post under attack. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Oh, God, they're pushing, they're pushing. They can spawn here, of course, so... Oh, God. I just use the grenade. Yep. Say hello to my friend, bitches. For the shooting, baby. Ow. All right, well, guys, that's going to be it for now. I really liked it. Um, you know, it, it's know what it's doing, and it's very effective in it. Uh, like I said, there are uh, quite a few other uh, variations in terms of like units or factions that you can be. Um, also supports a lot of modes, if I'm not mistaken, a capture flag, hunt, etc, etc. So for all your, your really balanced, um, you know, arena type shooting that you need, this is definitely what you want. Down link will be in the description down below, and I will see you guys next time.